Yeah, this photo's looking good. Select subject. No way. So Lightroom just put out a massive update introducing AI masking. And there's two really cool features in particular that we're about to walk through here in a second. So let's check it out. So here I have three images, uh, you know, three different types of images. I have a portrait of my daughter on uh, Halloween, freaking cute giraffe, this really cool landscape looking shot, and then a cool lifestyle shot from a fitness shoot. Like I just showed in the intro, once you're in the develop module, here up top we can see that these buttons have changed, the layout's changed a bit. We still have the same crop, spot healing, the red eye, and then masking also has, does anyone ever use the red eye button? I feel like it should just be somewhere hidden because something else could go there that's more more useful in my opinion. But so now this is called masking. So if we click over here, we bring up all of these other options, select subject, select sky, and then the same ones that we had, brush, linear gradient, radial gradient, and now color range and luminance range and depth range. I don't remember if those were on previous update, but I never use them. So I'll still highlight them here just to show you guys. But the two most impressive ones are definitely select subject and select sky. So all you have to do if you have a main subject in your image, like this one is separated by, you know, depth, obviously, uh, alley is the focus in this, I hit select subject, and then it's going to detect it and create a perfect mask over it. So normally, if you wanted to do this, you would have to use the brush tool, paint around her going really fine around the edges and then kind of erase others. But this just did a perfect job in like one second. So the cool thing about that is now you can just make adjustments to that mask. So I can maybe brighten her up if I wanted to, see contrast, maybe a little less contrast, highlights down a little bit so it's not hot on her face and then shadows, maybe warm her up a little bit. So. Really simple adjustments, but I can see how this could be such a game changer because now you can just select certain things, which is really awesome. So that's really cool. My other fallback would normally would have been um, adding a radial gradient just to this part and just, you know, boosting exposure like that. But this is so much more accurate. So if we look over here, now we have like a bit of a layers section also. So you can hit create new mask and then whatever you do can kind of be like within that layer, almost like Photoshop. And so we have mask one here. You can also rename it. I can be like, you know, Ali subject. And then if I wanna add another one, then let's say I wanna do like a linear gradient, like a normal one. Sometimes I like to darken the corners, kind of draw attention to the center. So I'll go here and go to burn, make that sky a little more dramatic like so. Yeah, something like that. So now, I love this because it's so much easier to pick your mask. So like right here, you can either invert it, you can add to it, subtract to it with a brush or however you want. It's, it's just really awesome. So that's a super awesome feature. So let's go on to the next one. So here we have a really cool sky. This is basically how I would have edited it it like normal and pretty much all I can do, but I really love to draw more emphasis to that sky. And so I wanna make it more dramatic. And so normally I would use the brush tool and just kind of brush over everything for the things that I wanna manipulate. But now check this out, select sky. That's, that's so awesome. So that whole area, even right here through the leaves and the trees and all that is selected perfectly, that is, that's wild. So now we can do adjustments just to this part. And so I would, you know, maybe reduce the exposure, maybe boost the saturation a bit, make it a little more dramatic, some clarity, reduce the highlights. That's looking pretty cool. This is something that could be probably done easier in Photoshop, but now with this update, having it in Lightroom is super cool. So then again, I think that looks pretty awesome right there. And then to make this even more uh, like drama based, more dramatic, I would I would do another gradient filter like this, and then just maybe like darken that corner here, and then let's see, even another one, another linear gradient, kind of this darker section here. Nice. 
So before this update, radial and linear gradients were my favorite thing to use because, you know, if we go back to what we did before just using normal edits, it was like this. And then now, you know, that to me is like, you know, that's what I like. It looks, looks a, lot, a lot cooler to me. But yeah, now I'm really interested. This is just like a first impressions. I'm not gonna do a full in-depth thing in this, but this would be really cool for real estate. I already know that we're probably gonna have a lot more flexibility now with the current skies that we capture for real estate photos. So I'm excited about that. So let's go into one more. This is a super cool fitness shoot that I still haven't been able to make video content on because the merch in this, uh, shoot hasn't been released yet by the brands and so we can't show it yet but this one is okay and so here i'm going to show you color range which is really cool so you can see i already have two masks on here again i love using radial filters so we have one radial kind of like affecting up there making it more hazy looking and then one uh in the center just drawing more emphasis to him and darkening the outside of it but this is what's really cool about color range we can create a new mask and go to color range so whatever color we pick, it's just gonna select that color in the whole scene and we can make edits just to that. So this could be really cool for skin tones. So let's select, you know, like right here on a skin tone and the whole thing is selected. Now, if you wanted to remove some of this, you can hit subtract. So let's see, so, so, subtract with brush. So I think it picked up a little bit on his shirt. So we can just kind of like, and I'm doing this really quick just for the example's sake, but let's remove that a little bit so it doesn't affect the color of the shirt. Just like that. Nice. So you can come down to hue and do really fine adjustments to kind of get the skin tones where you want them, or you can use saturation if they were too vibrant, make them more vibrant. You can use the temperature, so warm them up, cool them down, just depending on whatever uh, looks best to you, use the tint. So, I mean, yeah, that looks pretty good too. <laughs> Just like that. Maybe reduce the highlights on it a bit. So this is just gonna open up so much more uh, flexibility within Lightroom, which I love. I, you know, Lightroom's my favorite. Also, does anyone use Lightroom CC? Like, not this one, this is Lightroom Classic. I'm so interested to try it out because I would love to have all my photos just, you know, synced on my phone but I don't know if I can make that jump, so. So if we go back to this first image, let's see if it can pick up the sky. We'll go again here, create new mask, select sky. <gasps> That's so cool. It's doing such a great job going around the trees and such because even if I did that with the brush, it would be nothing like that, so. That's really freaking cool. So now we can bring this, and now we can just again make adjustments to this. So I could probably bring down this exposure a bit, maybe the saturation. Nice. That looks so cool. So like, this was like, before making any of those masks and now using them. Well guys, so that's pretty much it. That is a first look into Lightroom's newest update using AI masking. Uh, I love to know what you guys think about, you know, this whole AI realm that's coming into photography and editing, you know, other programs like uh, Luminar, that's a really big AI based program. And the times I've used it has been pretty cool. So it's kind of crazy what technology can do nowadays, but let me know what you think in the comments below about the new features like select subject and select sky. Personally, I think that's just gonna be so handy for future photo editing and things like that. And I love that they're probably gonna continue adding in more features like another one that I think would be really great is if you could hit select face. So not just select subject, but select face, you know, portraits or headshots where it just selects like the skin around the face would be so nice because then you could just make all your adjustments right then and there without having to just brush their face to like make it softer by like reducing the clarity, the texture, something like that. So that would be another cool update. But this is just another step forward to help us produce better content and make things easier for us at the same time. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down your thoughts, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to be part of the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you haven't entered in the giveaway, I'll link that video up here, wherever. Uh, so check that out if you're interested to win a cool piece of gear and we'll announce the winner in the next one. All right, guys, see ya.